Okay, hopefully the last video for this series. Uh, I feel like I have one more in me after this, but in order to complete the challenge, uh, just this last video to, to wrap it all up, okay? Uh, so we've been working on this to-do app. Uh, it has a front end, a back end, SQLite, and it's uh, last time we added some styles, right? Um, maybe not great styles, depending on your uh, sensibilities, but uh, good enough for me, okay? Uh, so these styles, they'll work. We can go and add stuff, right? By milk. There it is, right? Uh, we can check it off. We can delete it. We can do stuff. It's all good. But there's one part in here uh, that we have not covered off, okay? And that is right down here. The node server using Express serves the React application, okay? And that, I've never really had to do that before, okay? Uh, I've never put React inside of Express. Uh, I'm sure that's how a lot of these meta frameworks work, uh, some sort of system like that. But for me, I, I haven't had to do that. So I had to go and do some research and I found a way and let's work through it together, okay? So way over here, uh, we still have files open from all of our styling. We can get rid of all that good stuff, okay? Uh, close most of this just so we have it. And we are in a good place to start. Now, right here, what I want to do is I want to start by figuring out how to get this front end data into this back end folder. And for that, we need to build. Now, inside of your package, front end package.json, okay, uh, we have this build command. And if we run this build command, it's going to spit out a public folder inside of the front end folder. Okay, we, we can see that right away. So I'm going to go up here, uh, close this out, cd into front end, and npm run build. Okay, that's going to build these files. Okay, uh, it actually builds them to a dist folder. So if we go back, we can see there's a dist folder here, and it's got our CSS right here, all that good stuff. It's all one lined kind of messy, all of our um, JavaScript, right? Right at the top, all this stuff is the production build for, for React, it's all in there. Uh, and then all of that is linked up inside of this HTML file. And you could take this dist folder, uh, the contents of it, sorry, upload it using FTP, if you still do that, right? Uh, you could totally do that, and it would build on any server that is currently in, in the internet, okay? And that's because it's just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So wouldn't it be great if we could get this dist folder over to the back end, right? Actually have the front end just take this folder and put it into the back end. Well, the cool thing is that we absolutely can do that. Okay, so down here inside of vite.config.js, we can add some configuration, okay? Right here uh, um, on line seven. So after line six, we, we hit return line seven. We're gonna add a build command, okay? You're gonna see that it completes. We, we can absolutely do that. And it is an object, okay? Now, the, uh, one of the things that we need in here is the outdir, okay? The output directory, outdir, okay? And we tell it where we want it to go. So we want it to go up a folder and then into the back end and into a folder called public. We don't have this public folder, but if it doesn't exist, then V will create that folder for us. So not a problem, okay? It, it will, it'll go in and it will create that public folder for us. The other thing that I like to add is the um, empty outdoor, okay? And my understanding of this is that it will rewrite that folder every single time, okay? So every time we build, it will gut that folder 
and create a new one, okay? So I like to set this to true. That's me, okay? That's all we need for this. So at this point, if we go back and we run that exact same command, npm run build, I haven't changed anything else, but look, dot dot slash backend. This was dist slash dot dot slash backend slash public, okay? Uh, shouldn't be much change in anything else in here, but at this point, I should be able to see that inside of the backend, and I absolutely do. It's right here, okay? I probably don't want to commit this file, but here it is, okay? So with that in mind, now that I have that, move to trash, move to trash. Oh, you know what? I, I, actually, I did want that, so let's run it one more time. My bad build it so we have it in here uh, we know that it works because it's running right or it, it was running right here 5173 right so now we need a way for the back end to run in production mode and serve up this public folder okay so into your server file we haven't been here in a while but here's where the magic happens okay Right here, we want to app.use, okay? And inside of there, we are going to grab another thing. Just uh, just like before, where we had .json. This time we want express.static, okay? And express.static is gonna go and look inside of a folder. Uh, so if, if it doesn't find a route in here, it's going to look for specific files inside of this folder and we want that folder to be public right so from the root of our project which is backend um, we have that public folder that's it that's all we need here too okay uh, except that maybe we should get rid of this now because we don't really need it we save it all down and yeah as a matter of practice let's go to that root uh, git ignore right here and let's add public, okay? Just to be on the safe side. That way it's all grayed out, okay? But going back here to this, uh, this backend one, closing it down, uh, database is closed. Uh, some sort of weird error there, that's okay. Uh, probably because I, I restarted without actually doing anything. But npm run dev, that's what we did before, right? So let's run it again, but this time, again, on a port 8000, we're going to open a, a browser tab. So we aren't using, we aren't using Bruno. We're staying inside of Chrome, localhost 8000. And here it is, right? Here's the app. Look, I can, I can close this. I can go over here and shut this down, right? So our front end is not running. I can reload this page and it works. I can go in here and eat lunch and it works. Everything just works. In fact, right now I'm in development mode, right? So if I change anything to the server, it will reset all this. So let's try it one more time. Over to that front end, uh, over to that back end, sorry, the back end folder, shut it down. Okay. And this time I want you to run npm start. Now this is different. We had node dash dash watch. This time we just have node server, okay? So same thing, it resets the database, right? Um, eat lunch one more time, there it is. We can check things off, we can refresh it. It all just works. The problem with this is of course that it only works if I go into the backend folder and run it and do the thing and I have, I actually have a few steps, don't I? I have to go into the front end folder and build to put the public folder in. And then I have to run the back end. So we can do better. But first, let's commit, right? Let's commit. We go over here, get status like this, get, oh, I'm in the front end. So let's start by backing out of that. Get status one more time. Uh, three files, so git diff, 
uh, I added public to the git ignore and I added this uh, use express static, yes. And I updated my config just like that. It changed the single quotes to double quotes, which is why I'm seeing this nonsense. Not a problem, okay? Git add dot, git commit, git 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 add dot, git, come on, <laughs> learn to type. So close and now I'm making the mistakes. Git add dot, good, okay, git commit dash m. This one is for build, right? Uh, build, uh, it, it's general, so we, we don't need the, the parentheses, but um, set up front end build, okay? That's what we did, good. From here, we start to add extra things. So what I wanna do is go into my backend, okay? Uh, we don't need these anymore, we can close all those into the back end, into this package.json file folder, okay? Right here, we have this, um, this start command, and we use npm start or npm run start to start the server. Well, right above it, I want to add something called a pre-start. And what pre-start will do is it will fire this command whenever I run start. So it'll do the pre-start first, and then it will run start, okay? Now inside of there, uh, we have a bit of a mouthful for a command, but we go up one folder uh, into front end, and then double ampersand, npm run build, okay? That comma gets rid of the, uh, the red underline, save it. Now, whenever I start, I will build the front end project, okay? So again, back over here, shutting down the server. Let's clear it for a second. NPM start. So it's CD'd in, okay? That, that was the pre-start. So it's CD'd into front end and built it, which is why I get these folders. And then it started and ran the server. Go back here, run it. Everything is good, okay? This is good. This is, we've already removed some of the work. If all we did was go into the backend folder, run npm start, we get everything that we need. But we can do better, okay? So for this, I want to shut this down for a second, okay? And I want to go to my root folder. Now I'm going to npm init dash y here, okay? which is going to give me a package file inside of the root. We can see that right here, okay? This is where we're gonna do all of that work. So most of this just goes away. We have to-do app. Did I actually ever change this? Two seconds. Ah, front end dash to-do app. Is that what I'm calling it? I don't even remember. It doesn't matter. Moving on. So we have to-do app. We have the version, we want it to be uh, private, just like everything else. So that is very much true. A description if you want, uh, no main, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, licensing, if you were publishing this somewhere, scripts, okay? So we're gonna set up a bunch of scripts. The first one is going to be dev, uh, sorry, in quotes, dev, like this, why, uh, my fingers aren't working anymore, dev backend, okay? And we cd into backend. Again, it would help if it was in quotes so that it looked nicer. Backend, there we go. Wow, I cannot, seriously, don't know what's going on there, but uh, npm run dev, okay? There's a comma here, we copy and paste this. This is going to be the front end, okay? Front end, npm run dev, excellent, okay? So now we have a way to start these 
right from the root folder, which means that we can go in here, uh, cd dot dot to the root folder, go npm run dev backend. Did I do that right? Uh, I, I guess my autocomplete doesn't want to work. Here we go. Uh, oh, did I mess it up? Where is it here? CD backend and npm run dev. Do I not have backend package dev? Yeah, I totally do. What am I missing? Uh, that we don't need this. So dev backend, CD into backend, NPM run dev. Oh, double ampersand. Silly, always the silliness. There we go. Let's try again. Right here. We run it. We are on port 8000. We can do the same here. So CD dot dot uh, to the root folder, uh, NPM run dev front end we get that um, that nice URL which I don't think I have anymore localhost 5173 everything just works okay let's do more okay so shut this down we don't need this shut this down we are only going to be working from the root folder now okay which is awesome in fact we're we're only going to be working from this tab okay uh, pretty much going forward. So right here, we're going to grab this and we're going to type start. Okay. So if we start, we want to go into the back end like this and npm run start or npm start. It's the same thing. Okay. So now we have a way to start the app. And the great thing about this npm start from the root, it's going to build everything. Then it's going to start my server. And now over here, refresh, everything just works. Okay. So now I have a very simple way of doing what I need. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Okay. Because since I can start from the root directory, right? Since I can start way down here inside of the root, in theory, I should be able to install from here too. And this gets a little bit hairy. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to kid you here, uh, but we can do a pre-install. So whenever we install, just before we do the install, we're going to pre-install and we're going to run a very messy command. So this one's going to be CD backend, just like this and npm install okay and then the this is the tricky part okay so right here we want a semicolon and we want to paste in our next part of the command but when we run this second part of the command what folder are we in well we're still in back end right so the messiness comes in in the fact that we have to go backwards and then into the front end so dot dot slash uh, front end like this absolutely and install okay we install the back end we install the front end and we install whatever is in this root folder which should be nothing you're gonna see a package.json lock uh, a package lock file show up here okay unfortunately that's the way the system goes there's just no way around it okay but now we can do all of this. So I'm going to go into my folders and delete node modules. Gone. Okay. Let's go and get rid of public. Uh, and then way down in front end, this node modules too, that's gone away. And now we are clean. If this was from a Git repo and we just cloned it, this is what we would get all of this plus that package lock that we're about to see. Okay. So shut it down, make sure that nothing else is running. And here is the test. So NPM install. Okay. It is installing all of that good stuff. 
I go back and I have, there's my node modules for the back end. There's my node modules for the front end. I npm start. It builds out all those files. So now I have that public folder here, right? I don't commit it, but it is there. And then I can go to my browser and run the thing. Brilliant. All of a sudden we have everything that we need except documentation, right? We're missing, missing documentation. So if we were really, really smart, we would go into the back end and write a readme, right? We'd have a, a new file in here. We would call it uh, readme.markdown, right? And this is our back end, okay? It uses markdown formatting. So if you've never seen that, uh, probably learn because it is used everywhere, okay? And we would write some commands on how to start. But at this point, do we need that? I, I don't know, right? Because everything happens in the root. Uh, you will notice that there is a readme.md in, um, in the front end. We should totally update this. So none of this really applies. This is front end, right? Save it, maybe go up here. I think I used two of these. That's just an H1. Brilliant. Okay. Good. Shutting it all down right here in the root. This is where we definitely need a readme. So read me like this. And inside of here, we want to explain how to run the app. Very important. Okay. So give it a name to do assignment and then something like this. Um, to run in production mode. Hopefully that makes sense to people pulling the thing down. Uh, big star, uh, this, this bold stuff, run all commands from the root of the project, okay? Makes it nice and bold. Now, I could just keep typing this, right? Uh, but instead, I'm just going to paste it in here because you don't really need to watch me um, type slowly, okay? But to do assignment, we, we run it in production mode. How do we run it in production mode? From the root of the project, we npm install, npm start. That's it. That's the whole thing. To run in development mode, we npm install, right, from the root and then needs two terminal tabs. So uh, run all commands from the root again. In tab one, npm run dev backend, npm run dev front end. okay? Do we need more? We, we probably could, right? We could add like screen caps and, and help text and there's all kinds of stuff that we could get in here like um, uh, contributors lists and, and um, issue templates, like right? tons of stuff. We, we could just go wild with this, right? But I think for this assignment, we are at a good place, right? We're, we're at a really good place. Um, there are things that you could explore, uh, obviously. Uh, ESLint, testing. Uh, if you wanted to run both of your developer projects at the same time, you could look at something like Docker, right? Uh, Docker is used a lot. But yeah, here we are. And the only downfall of this is that it adds this empty package lock file. That's the only real thing that I hate about this. It, it bugs me. Bugs me enough that I might, I might come back for one extra video to show you a little trick, okay? Um, at least for the Mac users, okay? It's something called make, which has existed for very, a very long time. So we'll see, we'll see about that one. But for now, let's, let's go and uh, commit it. So git status, uh, we updated our backend package. We um, updated our front end and our front end package. Uh, weird that when we installed it, it installed the package lock. Oh, that's, that's because I updated um, the title of our package.json. So it also updated package lock. 
uh, added readme, added a readme for the back end, right? Did lots of different stuff. So git add dot, git commit dash m build uh, add start scripts and readme, okay? Readme should probably actually be under docs, but there we are. One more time, git uh, log dash dash one line. I don't want to count how many commits this is, but it has been a ride, okay? Uh, we've done just a ton of different work. We started by standing up Express, getting some API routes working. Uh, then we added some backend stuff, right? Uh, the, the database stuff. We added a bunch of stuff to the front end and then a bunch of stuff for styles. And then we finished it all by making it build so that we could knock off this final little task here of serving React from inside of Express. That's it. I am done. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, but if you, had, if you do have questions, definitely land those questions in my comments. Uh, let me know what you think of all this. If you came up with a different way, if you would have done it a completely different, like all the way different way, right? Uh, make known, right? Uh, add a comment, May, make it known. Uh, I would love to have that conversation with you. Otherwise, yeah, it's done. And I'm going to actually go and eat lunch now. So have a good one all. Later.